So a fair few people wanted to know how the laser beam worked, so today I'm going to go over the behind the scene details that a lot of you actually guessed, but some of you didn't. First things first, what the laser beam actually is, and practically anyone who guessed this was right, it is indeed charged creepers. So of course they are invisible, and if you know what a charged creeper is, it's when it gets hit by lightning, then it gains this glowing armor which when stacked appears like a laser now initially I actually wanted to use multiple creepers so if I go on this and I gather a few you two more maybe one could argue that it looks slightly better from this angle it looks a much more like a powerful laser beam in my opinion but uh, I couldn't do that because I was encountering problems with the laser actually splitting up en route. Now the movement is of course controlled with the minecart track. As you can see there is actually a detector rail just there and basically these are placed all along the track. Each one will basically trigger an event such as the burning of the cow, the burning of the villager and etc. But something to note here actually, especially with the mobs, is that because these are creepers, entities, and these are all mobs, um, the creepers will actually push the mobs. So what that means is when that creeper passes by here, it, instead of just um, setting this cow on fire, it will actually push the cow along the uh, the route. Now we don't want that because otherwise the the, the cow is just going to end up all the way over there. So what I had to do was put these invisible door barriers here so that the cow or the villager or any mob are basically blocked in the, that, that one by one area and can't escape. To delete the blocks, what I used was Seth Bling's structure spawner filter, which basically turns all of these blocks into sand and then deletes them, causing an effect that makes, look, makes it look like the, uh, the laser's burning it all away. And basically any block that gets destroyed is destroyed in that manner. Many of the sounds you heard were actually done with the play sound command, as you probably guessed, um, such as this door closing, if I do this. Those explosions are done by the play sound command as opposed to actually explosions because if I explode all that then my Minecraft will probably crash. And other than that there's not too much more to explain. It was fairly simple to, uh, to execute. Uh, setting up took a while because I had to coordinate all the timings and everything but uh, other than that it was a pretty simple thing to do.